But first tonight, some Clark County business owners say they are being forced to pay for a service they got for free for years. Owners in German Township must soon have to pay for city water, but have concerns this could lead to bigger issues later on. So Rob Sneed is asking questions of Springfield city leaders to find out what's behind the sudden charge. It's our top story at 530. Keeping animals healthy and happy is what Dr. Nikki Maynard does at Mad River Veterinary Hospital. It's a well-established area. It, it's got a, a lot of good, solid businesses here. Dr. Maynard started her practice in German Township late last year, but as soon as those signs went up, Maynard says the city of Springfield had a surprise for her. Basically, this is a letter from the city of Springfield um, that says that they are going to require us to sign a development incentive agreement um, in which we agree to pay 2% of our payroll uh, expenses to the city in return for continuing water use. Several businesses along Upper Valley Pike received the same letter, even though they've had city water for years. It basically is a, a way of blackmailing all the businesses in this area into using, uh, to signing the agreement and, and basically annexing down the line. I called Springfield City Manager Jim Bodemiller to ask him about the concerns I've heard from business owners and residents. All right, what would you say to the business owners who are saying that the city of Springfield is blackmailing them, pigeonholing them into signing this incentive so that they can then be annexed into the city? What would you say to that? I would simply say that if you want to have city utilities, you're going to be expected to be treated like we treated all of our other customers, and you need to be a part, you'll have to be a part of the city. Either do that by signing the DIA agreement or by annexing this. I also wanted to know why the city of Springfield just now noticed these businesses didn't sign this incentive agreement after years of using city utilities. Butter Miller says the city simply didn't know. He says this agreement is equivalent to a 2% income tax. He says it's standard, but Maynard says it's unfair. It's a little bit frustrating that we're not getting a say in it. Reporting in German Township, Rob Sneed, 2 News, working for you. And you heard Dr. Maynard mention the contract also mentions the possibility of annexing later on. That would mean the city of Springfield could extend the city limits to include her business, which would mean a whole new level of taxes that she would then have to pay. Now, both township and city leaders telling us today there's not much she can do to fight annexation if the city ultimately decides to do exactly that.